we have a question in front of us. Let's solve the question. Mangoes are bought at rupees 10 per 100. It means cost price of 100 mangoes is equal to rupees 10. The rate per 100 at which they must sold so that the gain of rupees 100 may be equal to, to the selling price of 250 mangoes is. Means we need to find selling price of 100 mangoes such that gain on rupees 100 means if our cost price is rupees 100 then our profit is equal to selling price of 250 mangoes we know at rupees 10 we are getting 100 mangoes so at rupees 100 we would have 1000 mangoes I hope this one is clear we have to calculate profit on the selling price so let's assume selling price of one mango is equal to rupees x so the selling price of 250 mangoes is nothing but rupees 250 x and selling price of 100 mangoes is nothing but 100 x and selling price of 1000 mangoes is nothing but 1000 x now we have everything in the selling price term we have to solve this question according to this given data cost price of 1000 mangoes is rupees 100 and at this we are getting the profit as a selling price of 250 mangoes and the selling price of 250 mangoes is 250 x so we can say selling price of 1000 mango is from here selling price is nothing but cost price plus profit that is cost price plus profit is 250x and from here selling price of 1000 mango is nothing but 1000x so this is our first equation we are working here at rupees 100 as a cost price at which we are getting 1000 mangoes and at 1000 mangoes we are getting selling price of 250 mangoes. It means we want 250x as a profit. Now selling price of 1000 mangoes is from here is cost price plus profit and from here what we have assumed is 1000x so we can say x is nothing but 100 upon 750. Now what we want, we want selling price of 100 mangoes and we have selling price of 100 mangoes is 100x. So our required answer is 100x where x is nothing but 100 upon 750. So this one is cancelled out 25, 3, ja, 25, 4, ja. so our answer is 40 by 3. The selling price of 100 mangoes is 40 by 3 to satisfy the given condition. I hope this one is clear. This is one of the method of solving this question, the basic and conceptual. We work on a value for which the profit and loss is given. Profit and loss is at selling price. So we assume everything at a selling price and solve the question. I hope this one is clear. Now check the another method. Now check the second method and alternate method for this question. We have quantity, we have quantity and price. Q is the quantity, P is the price. We have cost and sell it means we have cost quantity what we have purchased this is cost price in how much price this is the selling quantity what I am going to sell and at how much price according to question we bought in rupees 10 100 mangoes so 100 quantity in rupees 10 and we have to find the price of 100 is how much we need to find X I hope this one is clear means the selling price of 100 is x so we can say selling price of 1 is nothing but x by 100 so we can say selling price of 250 is nothing but 250 upon 100 x that is nothing but 2.5 x and the selling price of 250 is nothing but profit I hope this one is clear now the profit of 2.5 x the profit of 2.5 x is happens when the cost price is rupees 100 I hope this one is clear the profit of 2.5x happens at cost price of 100. In our chart, 
the cost price is rupees 10 so the cost price is rupees 10 then the profit is 0.25 x i hope this one is okay with you so cost price is 10 plus profit 0.25 x is nothing but our selling price cost price plus profit is our selling price if we have quantities same i hope this one is clear for this is the same quantities we can apply cost price plus profit is the selling price by solving this we will get is nothing but 0.75 x so our value of x is 10 upon 0.75 and this is nothing but 40 by 3 so this is our answer i created chart plotted everything in a chart and solved the question but the condition for this chart is you should have either quantity equal or price equal i hope this one is clear but i am not going to use this method in my examination i'll use a different now one. check the now chart check method again we have quantity we have price we have cost we have sell cost quantity cost price cost selling quantity selling price according to first line the cost price is 10 quantity is 100 and we want selling price of 100 i hope this one is clear but here the question is we want gain on rupees 100 means we want cost price should be 100 so we want price should be 100 i hope this one is clear so my new chart becomes quantity sale that is 1000 100 and we want the same quantity so if this one is 1000 we need to have 1000 so 10 and 10 we should have same quantity in this chart that is 10x and we have a complete chart now equate the equation we have cost price is 100 selling price is 10x and what is the profit profit is nothing but the selling price of 250 so we can equate like cost price is nothing but selling price minus profit now according to chart cost price is 100 selling price is 10x minus profit Profit is nothing but the selling price of 250 mangoes. Selling price of 1000 is 10x. So we can say selling price of 250 is nothing but 2.5x. So we have cost price, selling price and this is nothing but the profit according to quotient that is 2.5x. So here we have x is nothing but 100 upon 5 which is nothing but 40 by 3 and this is our required answer. So we create chart, equate the quantity and solve the question. I hope this one is clear. Okay. If you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Thank you and happy learning.